In this tutorial, we will be learning how to describe the end behavior of a rational function. The end behavior of a rational function is used to describe what the function looks like as it comes from negative infinity and goes to infinity. Remember that the direction of a function is left to right. The start of a function is as it comes from negative infinity and the end is as it approaches infinity. End behavior is described by using its direction and location. It can be described as starting or ending up, down, or approaching a certain value, as it goes to positive or negative infinity. Up means that it is coming from or going up. Here is an example where a function starts and ends up. Down means it is coming from or going down. Here is an example where it starts down and ends down. And approaching means that it is approaching a specific value. Think horizontal asymptote. Here is an example where it starts up and ends approaching y equals 4. The next part to describing end behavior is describing where it occurs. A plot can be broken into quadrants 1, 2, 3, and 4. When describing direction, we also state which quadrant it is occurring in. Consider the following example. It starts up in quadrant 2 and ends down in quadrant 4. Take a moment and write down the end behavior of the following two examples. Make sure to include their start and end, direction, and location. Here, we see it starts down in quadrant 3 and ends up in quadrant 1. In the next example, it starts up in quadrant 2 and ends down in quadrant 4. In this lesson, you learned about end behavior, that we describe the behavior of a function as it comes from negative infinity and goes to infinity by its direction, either up, down, or approaching, as well as its location using quadrants 1, 2, 3, and 4.